What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be covering one of the most expensive cards in history and it's coming to Liquid Marketplace. So the card we're talking about today is the PSA 10 Pikachu Illustrator. This is the most expensive Pokemon card sold in a private auction. And what's insane to me, because I grew up playing Pokemon, I played a lot of the games growing up, this sold for over $5.2 million to Logan Paul, who actually broke the Guinness World Records. And listen to this, because this is crazy. So for any collectors out there, I know you understand whether you're collecting rare coins, arts, comic books, action figures. To find a rare item, or in this case, a one-of-a-kind item, it took Logan five months to track down the seller. If only there existed a single marketplace where users can actually buy, sell, and trade and co-own their favorite collectibles without having to worry about tracking down these sellers, traveling far distances to find them, and sometimes the deals fall through after weeks or months of working it out, and then you may have to worry about the authentication or even the security of your new collectible. Now from the past few years, we're well aware that the future is going to be tokenized, co-ownership, fractionalized ownership, and a variety of things. Whether that's real estate or a company's stock, we're seeing company stocks like Google and Amazon doing stock splits so that more people can own it. They already understand the benefits of fractionalized ownership. But a huge component of that is providing liquidity. And according to Global Newswire, the collectibles industry will reach $692 billion by 2032. When in doubt, zoom out and look at this growth rate, growing at an average rate of 22% annually, whether that's art collectibles, sports, or trading cards. So if we applied the rule of 72, 72 divided by the rate of return, which is 22% per year, that means the collectibles market could roughly double in 3.27 years. Wow. And that's why I think this is so important to talk about, because I often preach about the tokenization of everything, but I want to make sure I'm contributing to ecosystems that are building liquidity, because without liquidity, everything dries up. And liquidity begets liquidity. So the more interoperability we have between the collectibles market, real estate, cryptocurrency, the stock market, the better. We want to build as many bridges as possible between all of these ecosystems. We want to break down the dam so all the water can flow seamlessly between these ecosystems. So if you truly believe in the value proposition of cryptocurrency and Web3, we should be supporting ecosystems and platforms that are providing liquidity, tokenized world, actually leveraging the power of blockchain technology. So if you want to be ready for the PSA 10 Pikachu Illustrator drop, be sure to create an account. This is linked in the top of the YouTube video description. And have your chance to co-own one of the most expensive Pokemon trading cards in existence. And the best part is you don't have to travel and search far and wide across the world and go all the way to Dubai like Logan had to. Now I'm actually going to share this link in the top of the YouTube video description. I absolutely love this video, like a 4-5 minute video going over the history of Pokemon when it turned 25. Did you know that the creator of Pokemon's name was Satoshi? Reminds me of Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin. So they actually changed the character's name from Satoshi to Ash Ketchum. Gotta catch them all. And right in Liquid Marketplace under Collectibles right in my toolbar on the left hand side, I actually own some of the 1998 Pikachu Illustrator PSA 8. I tweeted this the other day when I was looking at the old Pokemon games and seeing the list of them, chronological order, and uh, yeah, it makes me miss my childhood. We had Red and Green in 1996, those were like the first editions I believe that launched in Japan, and then later, 1998, we had Yellow, Red and Blue, and that was available in the United States, on the good old Game Boy Color. I remember the early games, Yellow, Red, Blue, Gold, Silver, Crystal, all awesome. I did play Ruby, I played Emerald, and then I think the last one I ever played was Diamond. So let's just say I clocked out in like 2006. I actually did mess around with that uh, Pokemon Go when it came out for uh, Augmented Reality. Yep, right here, 2016, the Augmented Reality. And this game in particular smashed records right on its release. And it was downloaded more than 1 billion times. So it's safe to say this is a huge community. So overall, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to co-own one of the rarest and most expensive Pokemon trading cards, the PSA Grade 10 Pikachu Illustrator that was purchased for $5,275,000 and now holding a world record. And I'm personally going to snag a little bit of this Pikachu Illustrator. But overall, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to put all of these links in the top of the video description to create a free account at Liquid Marketplace. A huge thank you to all that like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.